Now, I would have loved to see the DFA. Hello, everybody, and welcome to Blue Jays Today, where we always have something to say about the Blue Jays. I am your host, Adam Peddle. And I'm your host, Nicholas Playlog. And today we are doing our Blue Jays Today show, which means everything in MLB and everything Blue Jays. Before we get into all-encompassing baseball, Please make sure to like, subscribe, and comment down below if you are enjoying this content. And also, if you want to lose some more money, uh, Monkey Knife Fight is the place to do it. Today, Jays is our code. Adam, I think you actually won some this week. I did, actually. Yes, I bet on uh, Steven Matz, actually. I bet hey, on Steven Matz. Hey, good stuff, yes. man. Yeah, uh, don't want to spoil anything, but he did a good He did a good job did a good this job. week. He did a good <laughs> job this week, guys. But make sure to do that uh, if you are interested in sports betting. So let's just dive straight into it, man. Let go, let go. Um, we, we'd be a failure of a podcast if we didn't touch on this. Uh, in fact, I mean, I'm shocked that we didn't even do a minute monologue on it. No. Joe Musgrove, uh, no node um, for the first time in San Diego Padres history, man. No, no, the Texas Rangers, too. Oh, so we geez. just face those guys. But that, yeah, that is incredible. You know, now every team, I didn't even realize that the Padres didn't have a no no. Right? But now that I know that, I'm like, okay, cool. Mm -hmm. Now everyone has had a chance. So, you know, good for Joe Musgrove. He kind of gets shadowed, like overshadowed. Oh, absolutely. When you got, you know, uh, Snell and especially you Darvish in uh -huh, that rotation. Uh -huh. So, you know, good for Joe Musgrove. You know, actually, he's a former Blue Jay pick. Oh really? Yeah, he's a former Blue Jay. I draft didn't player. know that, man. I didn't know. That. I did what know that he grew been? up in and around San Diego, so yeah. that's also like really cool for him, like yeah. kind of doing this in your hometown. I'm sure that oh. he probably dreamed about that for yeah. a long, long time and yeah. he managed to do it. So that's freaking awesome, dude. Yeah. Um, remind me again how how did they acquire him? Uh, they traded for him like, with Pittsburgh. Right, yeah. right, yeah. I mean, obviously, that's looking really good so far because yeah. he's had two very quality starts, and I mean, like, two very quality starts. So Number one in fantasy if you have, you know, Congratulations, no Joe Mascro. Good work, Joe. Um, what could have been? Uh, speaking about pitchers, uh, this guy, bit of an outspoken guy, uh, somebody that we wanted to uh, the Blue Jays to target this past offseason. Trevor Bowers being looked into right now because um, the balls were apparently sticky. Um, they had noticeable markings on them and were removed uh, from the game and are being evaluated. Uh, any thoughts on that? Well, what I'm hearing so far is that not only did they remove balls from Bauer, but he's getting all the spotlight, of course, because of the Cy Young, the RPM rate yeah. extremely getting up. Like, so obviously in the big signing, so obviously he's getting all the spotlight. Um, but there's been more pitchers than just Trevor Bauer that have balls removed from the game that haven't gotten any media attention. So what's been kind of circulating in right now is rumors that MLB is not looking to punish anybody. Because obviously if you remove all these balls, you're going to remove half the pitchers in the league. Mm -hmm. So they're looking to actually study what is it that is making the balls RPM go up faster. Trevor Bowers already posted on his Instagram exactly what he uses right. and what people uses. They didn't say, that he, this is what I use, but this is what he does. This is the formula. Okay. Uh, so okay. they're trying to find out what is it, and then maybe they're going to make it more regulated and allow pitchers to use this one formula rather than trying to concog something extra. Well, and I love that, man, because Bowers also come out and said that he believes that about 70% of pitchers do this in the league. Uh, experts are thinking that it's somewhere between 60 and 70%. So think about your favorite pitcher, guys. He probably uses this too. It's, it's more likely than not. And Ross Stripling. Well, actually, we know for a fact know Ross does. Stripling does because I've literally seen it on camera before. Seen, like, this like, guy is like straight up blatant as hell. Literally like, on his arm, on yeah. his palm. Like, oh my God, And it's man. still not helping, yeah, no, but no, no, not whatever. Helping. Um, I also, I just had a couple things about this Trevor mm. Bauer thing because I was going to do a minute monologue on it and then I life happened. Mm. Um, but like, I feel like a reason that a lot of uh, attention is going towards this guy is because of those RPMs. And we were talking about this in the off season. A lot of people think that he cheated um because like the rpms uh from 2017 to about 2020 so his cy young year they've gone up by about 330 uh mm -hmm. rpm so that's revolutions yeah. per minute how fast it goes around and and anywhere between 300 and 400 rpms is kind of what uh pine tar or a substance yeah. that's what is estimated like how it impacts it so i understand why there's a lot of um coverage on him because of this because yeah. he literally said in, in twitter he literally said i could increase my rpms up over 300 if i used it and then what happened next season 
Yeah, exactly that. Yeah, you yeah. Know? But I also I was looking at a lot of other pitchers too, man. And um and just to play devil's advocate here, yeah. um it feels like all of the elites, their RPMs are going up over time steadily. Clayton Kershaw, uh, yeah. Jacob Degrom, Garrett Cole. I'm not oh, like yeah. they could all be doing it. Oh yeah. But it's like you know I I also I don't wanna I don't wanna look at somebody when they're doing well and be like oh you know what that's an indicator that you're cheating because then I would look at Luke Voigt and be like hey you took steroids last year you know because right. it's like he had a great off season or something but right. um, but this, this is this case it's very like uh, like this is what the focus is on like we're obviously very much focusing on this and the casual fan like the like the whole Bauer thing is to grab like eyeballs that's all it is to do the, yeah and he even you know said I mean? that he came out and said himself that uh that he felt like this was a little clickbaity uh yeah. from the people that were revealing this it's like i kind of agree with but Bauer is clickbaity you know yes, what i mean yes, you put yes. Bauer in the title which we might do and uh or maybe <laughs> not do <laughs> and you know well, what i mean, I mean <laughs> he is yeah so if so. you guys go, uh, tuned into this video because of that let Here us know go. in the comments Here down below <laughs> um, i guess it's working thank you trevor <laughs> bauer thank you uh all right so a couple other things like a couple teams that have gotten off to a hot start yep. uh cincinnati red six and three right now or i'm at least i'm assuming yeah because i believe that they're uh they're losing heavily yeah. right now to the uh, arizona diamondbacks Recording almost got on no sunday hit. guys so yeah uh, yep. yeah midday um so that's pretty good hot start for them castellanos nice. is doing well uh in the al east mm -hmm. boston they're coming out the gate freaking hot Boston, as hell. Yeah, wow. six and three. Uh, JD hit three homers today. Endeavors hit so two. Like everybody, and uh, uh, Verdugo hit one as well. Oh my so God. everybody was cashing in today, man, on wow. the Baltimore oh. Orioles and uh, right, right, Boston Red Sox. Oh, cashing in on the yes, okay, yes, yeah, yes. Yeah. Um, and uh, and they're uh, alone at the top in the AL East because yeah. they're six and three, and then everybody else yeah. is uh, is four and five right now. So yeah, yeah. tight race. I mean, yeah, this is super early, guys. Like obviously, like you know, a lot of Blue Jay fans have been well worried, but obviously you can, you can tell like this is it's anybody's it's anybody's division. It's literally week two. Literally, it's week two. So literally, it's, it's and fun. and our biggest concerns is always the Yankees and probably those Rays. And if they're yep. also four and five, then I mean we're doing what we got to do. Exactly. Um, I'm gonna take a quick look right now. I wonder if the Dodgers have won, and if they have, then that would make them eight and two, which is just like. Fucking Dodgers are being Dodgers. Dodgers I mean, are being Dodgers. I have a man. lot of uh, have a lot of stakes in them in fantasy, and if you have stakes in them in fantasy, you are very much cashing in. They yes, are, they yes. are on top of the world. So they are now eight and two, and yep. and it's just the offense and the pitching and just ev just everything. Just everything is That's incredible. Is incredible. Trevor Bauer. Um, also, Washington Nationals one and five. Max Scherzer. Shout out. Come oh, to Max Toronto. Scherzer. Come Max to Scherzer. Toronto. Come on, uh, baby. We're going to be rumoring about this the entire I know, I know. way. Bro. We got to get our whole like fan base like, you know, screaming, Scherzer! Yes, come! yes, yes, yes. We <laughs> want us. to be the catalysts to make yeah. this happen if Washington <laughs> continues to suck. Yeah. Um, so that's kind of like teams, what's going on yes, there. Yes. Odor. Don't shave, bro. Oh my god. His head looks Don't smaller. Don't shave. His oh head looks god. so tiny. I, I I don't I never wanna uh you, like that like, kinda poke at somebody's no, image, no, no. but like fuck no, me. Even he was poking. He's like, I feel weird. You, you know what he said? His daughter is scared of him now. Oh, his daughter won't go near him. That's not on the right. <laughs> that's <laughs> bad. Who are you, Dad? Yeah, I mean, well, that's like not you. Yeah, realistically, I'm gonna take a I'm gonna take a positive approach with this and say, um, you look really good with a beard. You look really good with a beard, man. Period. Oh man, that, I hate that Yankees thing. Shave your beard, like that's just weird. It's man. weird, man. Yeah. It's definitely weird. I like Garrett Cole with a beard too. I mean, he's fine without a beard. Yeah, but I still liked him with the beard. He's I kinda, you know. I like a lot of guys with beards. You know, yeah, it's like yeah. we'll even we'll never even know how scary uh, Stanton could actually oh, look God. if he had a fucking Charlie Blackman beard. Oh, my you know, God. yeah, that's... sure they could grow it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, but we'll never actually know. Um, speaking of the Yankees, though, uh, they're pitching. Uh, Domingo Herman. Domingo Herman is absolutely gone. He's been optioned. So Yankees are having some struggling pitching as well. Kluber had a bad outing. Mm -hmm. uh, Tyone actually had a decent outting. So Tyone's the one kind of bright spot that they acquired right, this offseason. Obviously, right, Garrett right, Cole, right. I'm not even touching that. But yeah, he's so, been awesome. So, guys, Garrett Cole and then Tyone. Us, it look like, it's looking like Ryu and then Mats. Yeah. I think this could be a lot, you know, a lot closer if Kluber well, can't become Kluber. I, off I the totally you know agree, I mean? dude. And it's it's really reassuring for a Blue Jays fan that the Yankees pitching is also kind of having their yep, growing yep, pains yep, right yep. now. Because yep. we are certainly having ours. Um and that's a great segue to yes. talk about our our worst 
or the worst player I have ever witnessed in my entire life yeah, as yeah, being yeah, a yeah, Blue yeah, Jays yeah. fan <laughs> is is now at least. Not starting. Wait, no, games. wait, no. We're not Derek Fisher. We're not talking about Derek Fisher. No, nope. that no, is no, the no, worst no, no, player no, no. I've ever yeah, seen. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I, it's close. It is close. It's close. It's oh, honestly close. close. We are talking about Tanner freaking Rourke. He's in the bullpen. Tanner Rourke is going to the bullpen now. I would have loved to see the DFA, but the bullpen is the next best thing, yeah. I guess, because like, they're what? too afraid to DFA him. And and honestly, I'm I'm with this move. I'm with mm-hmm. it right now because like we've been having a little bit of injuries go down mm-hmm. and worst possible case scenario is some of our other starters start to die exactly. and it's like okay well exactly. i guess Good we need point. a guy who can fine. give us innings even fine. though we're literally going to lose the game but fine whatever he's now in the bullpen the that's what montoya has come out and said yeah. so that's awesome yeah. um for that role is he going to be a bulk guy do you think like probably what's happen? probably like we're down by like 6 7 runs kind of like that um LA game on uh, on friday like uh-huh. in that situation and we'd pitch bulb. We'd pitch um, Tanner or right where we got game. where it was like seven and nothing. It, the game something. doesn't even matter. Or vice versa, if the Angels were if we were the Angels on Saturday, yeah, we're pitching Roark. Well, so. here's the thing, dude. I wouldn't want to pitch him if we were like really ahead. Because I no, actually no, no, think no, no, like no. like we even though our lead. and we're gonna talk about this game too, yeah, guys. Yeah, yeah. The fifteen to one that was fucking awesome. Yeah. But literally, like I think that if anybody is capable of giving up that lead, it would be Tanner. Rourke. Yeah, yeah. I don't want Tanner Rourke in any situation that involves us potentially winning. We have to be totally lost. Yes. We have to absolutely actually be out of the game, yeah. pulling our players out. It's spring training all over again. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Just get Tanner Rourke some reps. That's it. Yeah, literally, That's literally. It. And and I love that for him, man. I. Mm-hmm. Freaking love that yeah. for him. Because he hurt us this week, guys. He, he did. He really did hurt he us did. this week. And we had a bad week. We did. We had a bad week. I know. I know. The week finished really nice. <laughs> but it, it was not nice in the middle. It was too it was a sandwich. We mm-hmm. got a win, bunch of losses. And then we got another win, man. And it wasn't nice. It wasn't nice. Well, that first win came from Steven Matz. Love mm-hmm, that outing. Mm-hmm, then mm-hmm. there's Tanner Rourke, the upsetting game. Well, we knew that one we was We knew over, that one dude. was going to be an we knew that was We knew that. Over. But then we lost the Ryu game. And, and that, that was one, fucking ridiculous. That one sucked. That was ridiculous. Because he gave us such a quality outing. And where were our hitters? Seven innings. Where was our hitters? Seven innings. Where was the hitters? Our hitters weren't there. because and this is This is the story of the week. Is that our hitters were not there the entire Rourke. week until the end, of course, uh, and Rourke, of course. Uh, but our hitters continued into the LA series after not supporting Ryu. We continued to suck into LA and lost another two. Well, the the problem is too is like let's face it, Stripling and Zoic were far from elite either. Yeah, that's fair. Um, that's fair. You know, so uh, so uh, obviously, like we need to be calling out this offense and saying, guys, like get it together which yeah. they did do on yeah. the last game that we played mm-hmm. but uh, i mean stripling looked really bad he yeah. was just hanging stuff right stripling over the plate bad. again that game was actually a lot closer it was that 5-5 kind of battle into extra innings that we did eventually lose but we left a lot of guys on base so that 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 was bad we can't we can't be missing out on runners in scoring position like we literally that is got to be bread and butter that's got to be your best attribute right and there was a crap load of missed opportunities Spanning where that's zone. concerned and as uh. far as like the hitting like let's actually talk about this man it felt mm-hmm. like our strike zone in our hitters' minds, was twice the size of the yeah. strike zone of the strike zone. Yeah, no, they were expanding. And one guy in particular, I, you know, I hate to point out guys and be like, it was you, but it was everybody. It was Except everybody. for maybe Vladdy a couple, you know, most no, of the time. No, not Vladdy. Vladdy, Vladdy was and hands down maybe better. Grichik was Grichik nice. had a couple blips uh, in, in one game and that right. I remember in particular. I remember seeing the highlight, but... Uh, other than it's it's Bo Bichette. Mm-hmm. Uh, but what's crazy, you know, I'm about to say that Bo Bichette was expanding the zone a lot this week. And he Hell, was. He was. He dude. was expanding a crap load. He struck out, I think uh, at one point he was up to 12 strikeouts and no walks after uh, the second game Jesus. in LA. Jesus. That's all, and out of the whole season. But, you know what's crazy? Is that he actually had a bad week with the eyes. Like the eye test said you did bad. Uh-huh. But he went 8 for 25. That's a th- I think it's a 320 average. That's a 320 well, average. Well, that's I don't 
I don't uh, understand. He's got an eight-game hit streak right now, guys. Dude, it's it's that it's that freaking Bichette blood. Just it's the flowing. Bichette blood. It's, yeah, like so, something in there and that family, they just know how to hit. Mm-hmm. And literally, even though, like, and he looked bad, guys. He looked bad. He looked bad. <laughs> there but, were, like, awful swings of yes. at, at breaking stuff that was, like, a foot out of the zone. Like, oh, it, it was wasn't even bad. close. It, it was pressing. They're pressing. When the game's on the line, they start pressing and start making things happen that aren't And he there. had a bit of a blow-up, too. I feel he like did he's, have a bit of like a this is a, a a this blow-up. game off because we're recording this on our day that we have a game off because mm-hmm. it got postponed because yeah. of weather. I think it's so good for this team right now. Um, e- like especially after we got a big W like we did, fifteen to one once mm-hmm. again. Um, but like some of these hitters need to just chill out, mm-hmm. like go. Do some meditating, like do some skincare routines, yeah. like whatever you gotta they do, really, man. They really did need this day, and you know what? You know what's great is because I'm gonna say this: all of us, all of this, we're saying all these bad hitting mm-hmm. that we didn't see that in the last game in LA. Hell no! Except for Teles and oh, Jansen, those fuck. guys were really bad. But either way. Everyone kind of chilled that game. And now we have a day off. And like you're saying, maybe they take that mentality. They go, okay, that's what that worked. That worked. Let's take this into New York. Here's the thing, dude. It, w- it was chill, but there was also nothing chill about it. Because they were like, we're here now and we're going to fuck you guys up. And we got up like seven runs and we're like, nope, no foot's not coming off the gas pedal. Mm. We're still going. And but the thing is they weren't pressing. They were actually letting the ball come to them. Sure. They weren't expanding the zone. They were letting literally letting the ball where it's hit. Like they're not trying to do home run swings. Bo- Bichette cut down his swing a crap load. Vladdy still looks like great, Vladdy. And even Gritchick looking great too. So Let's take that approach and move on into the next series because that is exceptional. Yeah, baseball. and uh, and most of those, uh, I'm, I'm actually not sure if we got a single home run that game. No, we Somebody didn't. Correct me. Um, no, we didn't. But that was small ball playing. You know, we were stringing together hits, and uh, mm-hmm. and that to me is what makes a quality team when you're capable of doing that. So oh, there's, uh, uh, there's nothing small ball, but that seventh inning though, it was just pure hitting. Just, <laughs> but it was like like it was no bombs. You know, it was like we yeah, were we were getting hits, exactly yeah, like yeah. we were we were just. We we were getting on base and people were batting them home, leaving no man mm-hmm. left behind. So mm-hmm. that's super reassuring. I yeah. love to see it. With yeah. all of this being said, with us going two and four, a uh, bit of a rough week mm-hmm. on some bat sides, on some pitching sides, uh, I think it might be time to evaluate and to crown this week's J of the Week. Yes, it is. But before we crown the J of the Week... We have a word from our sponsors. That's right, man. We have a word from our sponsors. All righty. Let me pull out this script. Go ahead. Is there anything better than the fresh mowed grass at the ballpark on opening day? No. How about freshly groomed balls? Mm-hmm. Our sponsors at Manscaped, the global leaders in below-the-waist grooming, are here to help you strike out your bush for good. It's a whole new balls game, folks, and Manscape is trusted by over 2 million men worldwide, so join the movement, get 20% off and free shipping with the code TODAYJAYS at manscaped.com. So, Adam, you've yeah. used it. Oh, I've yeah, used yeah. it. It's good. Oh, my God. I know you really liked it. Tell I, me about I, it, bro. Okay, so let me just start this story by saying... I've always been afraid to shave my balls. Mm -hmm. Like I've actually like I've used razors and every time I get near the skin, it like my my lads or whatever, it pokes, it pokes and it hurts. And I I, I I just I'm scared. But actually, literally like this, the I think it's lawnmower 3.0. It's got a little to the mic, bro. Let them hear. Yeah, yeah. It's got a little it's got a little light, too, on it. This actually, so it has this like razor head and like you can get right up against your lads and like go right up and down Mm. and and no pricking. No pricking. I, at first, I was a little nervous, but it was really good. And then after the fact, this actually still blows my mind. Right. Crop preserver. They have a crop preserver. <laughs> so what it is, it's a ball deodorant and moisturizer. So this is the, this is what I was saying, the glowing part. This uh-huh. is where when after I shaved, walked, took a shower, rubbed on some ball deodorant, I was sitting on this couch watching, um, I think I was watching like a movie. I was watching, um, oh, Moneyball. Uh-huh. Um, and my balls were glowing. Right. It was amazing. They, they really, truly felt it was amazing. like jewels. They literally felt like shining jewels. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. It was incredible. Guys, I'm actually serious. So if you're shaving your balls, seriously, get Manscaped. Get the Lawnmower 3.0. 
Get a great well, deal. You got the um, deals right there. Thank you so much for that in-depth uh, experience. I'm sure that everybody is super mm -hmm. happy to hear all about your, Absolutely. your balls. Absolutely. Um, but guys, get 20% off and free shipping with the code todayjays at manscaped.com. That's 20% off with free shipping at manscaped.com. And use code todayjays. Baseball is back. Don't let your pubes get out of whack. No. Love it. Love Time for today. Oh my God! Not today, Jays. <laughs> it's time for the J of the week. Okay, guys. So obviously there was a lot of good performances across the board, even though we did have a troublesome week. Uh, and and I would say it really came down to two guys for us. So I'm gonna give the honorable mention, mm -hmm. which goes to Vladimir Guerrero Jr. Yep, yep. It's it's Amazing. deserved. It's deserved. Amazing. Honestly. I could see a very strong argument oh. for you winning it. Um, it was, it, like, it's it, bloody close. It's bloody if close. If the guy that w is, is going to win it didn't do what he did this week, we would be even a further hole. So that's why he's getting it. Yep. But Vladdy is just on a tear. Vladdy kicked ass, dude. He hit, what, 400 this 400 week? 400 on base of 556, a slugging of 600, and an OPS of 1.156. I got to keep going. Six walks, one home run, seven RBI, four runs scored. And a hit by pitch. That was incredible. Wow. Incredible. Okay. So that's a lot. That's all this credit. Um, <laughs> good stuff, lad. Uh, the winner, though, and I say this uh, so lovingly uh, and appreciatingly because we need this guy to pop off. Mm -hmm. And the winner is Steven Matz. Yes. Steven Matz. Steven Matz. Okay, look. He only, he's the one who delivered the two wins for us this exactly, week. Exactly, He bro. delivered the Ws. He exceeded expectations. Yes. He at least yes. went six innings both times. Mm -hmm. He pitched a total of 12 and a third innings, only giving up two earned runs, seven hits, four walks, coming to a total of a 1.46 ERA. Jeez. A 0 0.89 whip. And obviously the two Ws, 13 strikeouts too. Yeah, exactly. for me, it's uh, it's really those two wins that, yeah. that cap it off because... Um, we needed that man, yeah. and uh, and if we didn't have that guy, and we had to do some weird like bullpen maneuvering, or I don't even know who would have started for us, but we might not have even gotten two and four. Um, Guys, we could have been one and seven. We could have, yeah, like this without Stephen Matz. Well, I don't think that math makes one and eight. One and eight. Sure. Yeah, nine. Yeah, yeah, five yeah. Five realistically, nine, one and eight. there we um, go. Yeah. Either way. Oh wait, no, wait, we no, lost. I, no, no. Yeah, two and, that's, that's two and seven. Make two and seven. Two and seven. Two and seven. Okay. There, um, go. there you go. Seven. You got it. Yeah. Um, but anyways, he was awesome. So congratulations to you, Stephen Matz. We will uh, also message you on Instagram. Yeah, let you know you won your award. To let you know, um, yep. because I'm sure that you were waiting with bated breath. Oh, absolutely. Uh, all right, dude. This seems like a great opportunity to look at the next week. Yes, let's look ahead, guys. So up next, we have a three-game series against the New York Yankees mm. at, in Dunedin and TD Ballpark. And then we go on the road to mm -hmm. face the Kansas City Royals in a four-game series. Mm -hmm. That one should be close. Mm -hmm. So, Nick, who do we have pitching for us against the Yankees? Not Tanner Rourke! Yay. <laughs> yeah. So, not, um, not anytime soon. I was I was a little bit concerned because this game got postponed mm -hmm. that we might like move him to oh, tomorrow's God. start. And, and he'd be facing Garrett be, Cole. <laughs> which would be a literal sack. Like that's a sacrificial game um, if we did that. So thank gosh we didn't. Uh, so uh, right now it's been confirmed that Robbie Ray will start that game Welcome against back, Robbie Ray. Very Welcome excited back. to have him back. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. Little bit concerned that he's going to get this big of a test mm -hmm. um, on his first outing. But you know what? Let's start him off. With jive into the deep end, baby. Yeah. Uh, then we got Ryu, uh, our second game, um, and then we're finishing it off with Stripling mm -hmm. in our third game with the Yankees. Yeah. So in in that regard, um, oh, fuck man, I hate to say it again, but uh, like it feels like we're gonna go one and two again this series, unless yeah, unless our bats get crazy That's like true. they did against the Angels. That's true. Hey, we beat Garrett Cole once, but again, we did have Ryu that in that game, and Ryu did pretty well. So you know, I'm gonna say I'm gonna say we're gonna drop the first one, even though Ray is back and he's looking really good. The safe bet is we're gonna drop it. And then we got Ryu versus Tyone. I think we're gonna grab that one. Yeah. And then in the rubber match, we've got Kluber versus Trip. And again, I don't like the way his tripling looks. Well, that's the thing, Kluber. dude. The, 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 that's going to be offense. Yes, be that one's going to be offense because like we said, we don't like how stripling is looking. I feel like mm. he's leaving way too much stuff over the plate. 
But apparently, Kluber's not looking too good either. No. So, um, so they have their own growing pains. We have our own growing pains. Who's going to come to smack that day? Mm-hmm. Hopefully, it's us. Oh, God, it better be. I and, hope- I hope they do. You know, maybe, you know, I'm going to say we're going to take that because they're going to take that mentality. They're going to take this off day. They're going to they're going to soak it all in and then bring that into the New right. York series. Well, and hopefully we have Lord Escariel Jr. joining us yes. again mm-hmm. during that series because right now he is on the COVID list. Uh, yeah. Got uh, got his vaccine in, so he doesn't mm-hmm. have COVID. Yeah. He just literally started throwing up in the dugout during a game and was and was <laughs> having bad oh side effects. So, yeah. like, no wonder you struck out on three yeah. pitches. This guy's, like, trying to contain himself. Mm-hmm. Um, but, uh, like, hope that you can get better soon. Mm-hmm. Um, and T.O., we're not going to get him back for New York. It looks like we're going to get him back during KC. Yeah. Um, so... You know what? You know what I'm going to say? I think we're going to take, I said it last week, we're going to take three to one out of LA. I'm going to say we're going to take three to one out of KC. You know why? Because we're going to have Ryu and then Ray again. Right. Ryu and then Ray and then Mats as well. Okay. So okay. so you're saying that we're going to go four and three. Four that, and that makes sense, right? No, I, I think we're going to win. I always say we're going to do this. We're going to go five and two because I'm, we're going to drop one with New York. We're going to win New York and we're going to win KC. Right. Yeah. We're going to win both of those series. Yeah. I'm going four and three. I don't see us uh, winning two against the Yankees this time. We got them the first time. I don't think that we're going to do it again. They're we not going to let us. Number. We're not going to uh, or they're not going to let it happen. Um. Okay, uh, anything else uh, Blue Jays-wise um, that, that you want to touch on? No, I mean, that's pretty it for me. Um, so I'm hoping, I'm hoping again that we have a good week. We bounce back. Hopefully the Boston Red Sox can chill, and we can hopefully get in like a two spot, maybe. Mm-hmm. You know, we can get in the two spot. We can win. Mm-hmm. But I think it's time. We play a little game, guys. Yeah. I've, I've been looking forward to this for so much. So Me if you've been noticing, too. right over here, there's just this like half wheel right here. You're like, what the heck is this? Well, we have this wheel. I, I just I, In my files, I've been naming it Wheel of Stats. Mm-hmm. There's a long name. Yeah. It's called The Spinning Fortune Baseball Colorful Future Determining Stat Analyzing. And uh, it's a wheel that we spin every week. All right, guys. So this is that wheel. Um, <laughs> I don't even don't even know anymore. I don't even know. It's um, just the wheel of things. Yeah, it's a bunch of shit on this freaking <laughs> thing. Uh, anyways, uh, we're gonna be spinning this. We're gonna be having a good time with it. Uh, mm-hmm. Last week we didn't have the wheel quite ready yet, so we just picked the categories. Anyways, um, I think I took you two to yeah, one. Two to one. So yeah. What was it? You you took um. Uh, batter strikeouts, you picked Kevin Biggio and I picked Danny Jansen. Yeah, Kevin Biggio got, was paying all over the he place. Paid. He got five, Thank Jansen you, got three, and then I picked hits. I picked Vladdy, who got eight. Lourdes only got two. Yeah, yeah, Lourdes He's missed a couple a games for sure. And then uh, the last one was pitcher's K's. You picked first in that one, so you got Matt's yeah. genius choice. I picked Merriweather, you got like two, and Matt's got like 13. Felt so like much. the way to go. Felt yeah. like Matt's was a shoe in for yeah. that one for sure. Um, yeah. So anyways, uh, we're going to be spinning this wheel. I will spin it. Uh, however, Adam gets to choose uh, his mm. two categories. He gets to pick first in two of them, and I will pick first in one of them. Mm-hmm. And we'll kind of break down the rules as it goes along. Yeah. But for now, let's get the first spin, spin going. Oh my god. Wow, that looks beautiful. Oh, she's cute, eh? <laughs> she's such a cutie. Where's she gonna land? Bonus player! Shut okay, up. that's perfect. Shut yes. up. Okay, so bonus player. Basically, we're gonna spin it again. That's on a category. But basically, I get to choose for the next category that's spinned two players to go up against next one. Now, that doesn't mean we add the two players together. That means that's two chances for me to get a better, higher score in yeah. that category. Yeah. So I kind of fucking love Yes, that. yes. Amazing. And it's, it's very <laughs> beneficial to uh, be the guy who's weak it is. So it's Adam's week this week. He yeah. gets to pick first sort of thing. Yeah. So, um, so this is a big freaking advantage. Let's see what uh, category oh, it's going to be. Let's go. Let's come go. on. Come on, baby. Give me something. Give me something I can work with. Give me something I can work with. Home runs. Let's okay, go. I can okay, work okay. with that. Okay. I can work with that. So how do you want to do this then? It, would it be fair to say that you get to pick one, then I get to pick one, then you get to pick your other one, rather than sure, you getting to pick that. two? Because like, like, I would just take the best. Yes, yeah, like that. That seems a bit more reasonable yeah, to me. Okay, so. Ooh, this is tough. Okay, so who's leading right now? It's definitely Simeon, and then I like Vlad a lot. Um, yeah, you know what? I'm gonna go Vlad. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like, uh, I'm gonna go Vlad for my one. Feels like uh, the solid choice there. Yeah. Um, oh shit. Tough, eh? Shit, hey. 
Oh, do I want to do that? I don't think I do. That's the safe choice. I'll go Semyon. Yeah, I was I'll gonna. Go I was gonna go Semyon after. Um, if yeah, he was not even in this week, so I can't even pick him. Uh, you know what? Random for just hop. I don't. You know, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go Bobichet. I'm okay. gonna go Bobichet. Fair enough, man. I Fair think he figures enough. it out this week. All right, Semyon, you're my guy. Let's All right. Get it. All right. Let's go. I'm gonna give you the freaking whoops, man. Right. Okay. Okay. Give me the whoops. The whoops. All right. What's it gonna be? What's it gonna be? Um, Jay Killer. Jay okay. Killer. I'm Jay gonna say you, you go first for this one. You go first yeah, for this one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so, and this is all situational, yeah. right? Like, yeah, it is. So, to explain, guys, Jay Killer, we pick a player who's gonna do the most damage against the Jays mm -hmm, this week. So, mm -hmm. we kind of do like, like who had a better week against the Jays specifically. Yeah, yeah. So, so um, KC and New York. Yeah, I'm thinking Ooh. about, uh, well, here's the thing. We're gonna have four games with KC yeah, exactly. to New York's three. So, if I was picking New York, York player, they'd really have to pop off. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm gonna go with a KC guy, I think. Um, and I think I want Whit Merrifield. I was gonna go there. Think I want. I think Whit Merrifield's gonna gonna kick our ass this week. He's gonna give us the bops. All right, you know what? Ah, uh, because I, I don't really know anybody else on that team that's doing well right now. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I think. Oh, who's doing well right now? Pitching. I'm thinking about going New York, but it doesn't make sense. I am going to pick. Oh, I don't know. Mm -hmm. I barely know anybody on the phone. Like, I know people, but I don't know who's doing well, you know? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I know, I know, I know, I know. Who'd you pick? You picked uh, Merrifield. Merrifield. No, don't do that. I'm distracted. Don't do that. I'm distracted. I'm thinking. Uh, I'm going to pick. I'm going to pick. Fuck it, I, my gut's going to go. I'm gonna go with DJ LeMay. All right, DJ LeMay, who's gonna need to have a big yeah. week I mean, he usually to beat out with us anyway, so. I feel like I'll do it. All right, Adam, so you get to pick first in this last category. What's it gonna be? K's batters, K's once again. batters once, once again. again. All right, well, yeah, I mean, I, I gotta go, I gotta go, yeah, you know, I gotta go Biggio. I gotta go Biggio. Gotta go Biggio, eh? Um, oh man. Oh man. Oh boy. Ah, see, oh, I feel like I know who you're gonna pick. You, you're thinking Telez, right? Yeah. See, I just, I don't even know if Telez is, is gonna, gonna get all the playing right, time though. Right. Like at this point, he's been so bad. I don't know if he's gonna and, play and enough es games to warrant that. Espinal and Palacios are definitely gonna get playing yeah, time if they're hot. Yeah, like, so it's like, him. I feel like I kinda need to go with a starter here. Mm -hmm. Um, somebody who I know is going to be starting quite a bit. Um, oh man. Oh man. Oh man. Boba right. Shed has been taking hacks. I was just thinking about Boba yeah, Shed. I was thinking Boba Shed has been taking hacks, but he's also doing well. I'm between Boba Shed and Simeon. Um, I'm going to say Boba Shed is going to strike okay. out more times than Cavan Biggio okay, will this okay. year or this week. Cool. Cool. So well, there you have it, guys. That's it. That's the wheel of stats, future analyzing, color thing. That's right. That's that wheel right there. That's and uh, and we're going to be uh, kind of keeping track of this all year. Mm -hmm. So I got a two to one lead over Adam right mm -hmm. now. Um, should get a little trophy that's passed around yeah, yeah, like week to week, I think. Dollar store or something. Yeah, you yeah, know, and, and the winner is going to get a cool thing and be the coolest guy. So I'm the coolest mm -hmm. guy this week. Oh, no. It's nice to be the coolest <laughs> guy. That's great for you. It is. It right. feels very nice, man. It feels freaking nice. So, guys, that is the Blue Jays Today Show. We hope you enjoyed. We're having this every single Monday. So we'll be back next week breaking down what's happening in baseball, breaking down what's happening with the Blue Jays, and then playing, obviously, some games and having some different kind of segments. So let us know in the comments down mm -hmm. below what do you think the Jays are going to do this week. How many games are we going to win? How many games are we going to lose? Who's going to be the J of the week? Let us know. And you can also check us out on Spotify, Breaker, Anchor, Radio Public, and Google Podcasts. Also, please make sure to like, subscribe, and comment down below if you enjoy this channel. And uh, now we got Monkey Knife Fight, but we also got Manscaped too. Today, Jays is the code for both mm -hmm. of them. Um, so if you want to hop on to either of those trains, make yeah. sure to do so. And uh, yeah, guys. Yeah. Thank you so much for watching. And Woo! hit my mic. Go, Jays, go!